White House President Trump just moments ago commuting the sentence of Alice Johnson, this 63 year old mother of four. She was sentenced to life in prison for drug trafficking uh, back in 1996. Last week, uh, reality TV star and businesswoman Kim Kardashian, she met with President Trump. She urged the president to pardon Alice Johnson. Johnson's daughter, Tritessa, is on the phone with me right now. Uh, Tritessa, are you there? Yes, I am. How did you find out? Uh, how did you find out about the commutation? Through the media. Through t through television. Mm, yes, and then the, I heard t one of our attorneys contacted me shortly after, like second after I found out. <laughs> what did the attorney? What did her lawyer say? That it, it was true that she's out. You know, she's screaming on the phone, and, and that is true that he has commuted her. That Trump has commuted her sentence. And, and I want to publicly thank President Trump for doing that. That's awesome. Let's talk a little bit yeah. about... Uh, Chutessa, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Talk to me a little bit of, of, about how we got here and, and how this whole lobbying effort started. Um, it started with Kim Kardashian seeing a, a video of my mom put out by Mike News Organization. And uh, she... And you'd have to talk to her directly, but... She decided to be an advocate for my mom and contacted through my mom through her attorney, Sean Holly, and it went from there. So it was just definitely something that we never would have guessed, <laughs> turn of events, but we're so thankful and so grateful for it. So I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bit discombobulated right now because it's just like, I cannot, it's, it's awesome. Today's a great day. <laughs> I can only imagine. Um, do do we know uh, whether your mother has, has found out officially just yet? Yes, yeah, she has found out. What was her reaction? I was just on the phone with her. She's elated. It's like surreal. It's been so long. It's just uh, my sister's going down to pick her up today. So <laughs> she's, um, she's getting out today. Yeah, well, I think so. Um, they were talking. I was just on the conference call. I didn't get to hear all of the plans yet, but uh, the plan is to go down and drive to get her as soon as possible. This is uh, for our viewers and listeners who may not be familiar with her story, Tritessa. This is Alice Johnson. She is a, a 63-year-old mother of four, six grandchildren, one great-grandchild. Um, and she was sentenced to life in prison back in 1996. It was a, a first-time non-violent drug offense, and she has become in so many ways uh, the face of a criminal justice system in this country that is very much broken. Um, do you know what your, your mother's plans are when, when she gets out, Tritessa? Uh, no. <laughs> We're still working on it. We have, you know, there's accommodations for her to stay, a job and all of that. But as far as what she plans to do, whatever she wants to do, <laughs> We haven't discussed specifics, though, but she definitely does have a place to live and employment and and all that's taken care of. So um, we're 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 still this we're still planning. We we have no idea. I haven't even known for an hour yet. So, <laughs> um, um, you know, again, I, I know we're, we're still, I'm sure there'll be a big celebration with the family and all of that. As far as what she plans, this, I know she plans on. Um, continuing to work with women in prison to help fight recidivism um, and not forget those that, that are still in her same situation. There are a lot of Alice Johnsons still out there. So she doesn't plan to just go disappear and, you know, say I'm out, you know, and it's all about her. She uh, tends to keep fighting for the ones that weren't so fortunate as she is. They weren't so blessed. Trutessa, um there are... Um a lot of folks, uh, like you said, who are in your, a similar situation to your mother, um, who, who don't have a Kim Kardashian or who, who don't have the ear of a, a celebrity or well-known person to, to lobby on their behalf. Um, what was it about your mother's story in particular, you think, that really resonated with, with folks? Um. I think my mother has a kind heart and shine, shine, uh, shine through in the video she did with Mike, uh, that she's truly repentant for her actions and that she truly 
um, wants to make a difference. Uh, she's made a difference inside of prison. Now she wants to make a difference on the outside. You know, as far as what resonated with Kim, uh, I remember her saying in an interview, you know, imagine what's your worst thing you ever did and you're punished for a nonviolent offense and you're punished for it for the rest of your life and just the injustice of that. And I think that inspired her to to help my mother, a person that she's never met. You know, I'm super thankful for Kim for, for doing that. You uh, you thank President Trump. Do you have a message for, for Kim Kardashian this afternoon as well? Thank Kim Kardashian from the bottom. I thank her from the bottom of my heart. I truly do. Uh -huh. I'll never forget what she's done. Um, you know, I, I want to build a shrine. I'm joking, but a shrine to Kim Kardashian. I mean, you know, she's an amazing person, and I, I, I'll be forever grateful for what she's done. And I thank President Trump also for extending the mercy towards my mother and giving her a second chance because this is really saving her life because she was going to die and, and die.